guys doing? First and foremost, okay, I want to just mention to you guys, if you are uncomfortable with certain conversations that I have, certain topics relating to like, you know, knowledge and wisdom about certain witchcrafts being done, um, certain things that God tells me, if you are uncomfortable with certain things like that, you may want to click off. I'm giving you the heads up, okay? So instead of coming on here and telling me what I should and shouldn't talk about, because I don't obey your voice, I obey, I obey the Holy Spirit's voice, not your voice. Um, just click off. It's that simple. This is very serious. And, you know, I received this word a while back and I received this word again last night. But the thing about it is that I was taking a couple of days off here and there just because just to take a break because sometimes the words are very heavy. I'm like, man, God, I don't want to post today. I'm going to post it tomorrow because it's kind of heavy. I kind of need a break to kind of... Ooh. Wow, that's so cute. A feather. <laughs> a feather just came on my car. A white feather. I'm like, sometimes I just need a breather, you know? Um, but I want to just tell you, this is someone's confirmation. It was a love spell. It was a love spell, okay? I'm going to show you guys something, some clips, but I want to tell you guys something. When people are doing love spells on your kingdom husband or your kingdom wife, okay, you when you are connected to someone in the spirit and the lord has revealed to you this person i have here for you is your wife or this person i have here is your husband and you are connected in the spirit a cord of three strands is not easily broken so when you're connected in the spirit you're going to feel everything your husband feels everything your wife feels you're going to feel it you are going to see it the holy spirit is the center of your relationship when certain things happen god will come in and he will advocate on your husband or wife's behalf vice versa sometimes you're even able to hear your partner in the spirit and y'all are able to pray together communicate together and holy spirit is in the middle of the center communicating with both of y'all at the same time okay that's a true kingdom connection a kingdom marriage and that is real okay remember something the devil sees kingdom marriages as a threat because two are better than one okay when two people come together and they're both anointed child they both use their gifts in the spirit they're one person strong in deliverance one person strong in vision the other person strong in you get what i'm saying the other person strong in tongues the other person you know what i'm saying like the devil sees that as a threat when there's two people that can see in the spirit that can hear the voice of god that can cover each other on that level he knows god is going to use them for a very mighty important purpose in ministry he understands this and this is why he always comes against it what the devil will do is he will use people who don't have good hearts, obviously, who are willing to be tempted. He will use these very people who have a tempting spirit. He will use these people who are greedy, selfish, narcissists, and they will try to come up against your marriage, okay? They will do witchcraft, they'll do rituals, or it may even be an ex that can't get over you, and they will go out of their way to make sure that you don't go towards your partner or your partner doesn't come towards you. They will do certain types of spells to do that. Now, no spell will work if you believe in the Holy Spirit, if you are praying, rebuking, and canceling against these spells they won't work however the problem is a lot of people don't believe in this stuff a lot of people don't think this stuff is real so they don't cancel it they don't rebuke it they don't denounce it because they're like oh, i don't believe it anyway there's no point in me counseling rebuking denouncing praying against if i don't believe it in the first place do you get what i'm saying not realizing that it is indeed real you have to cancel rebuke it you got to use your authority especially when you have a purpose with this particular person the devil will work against it, just like he'll work against anything else, just like he works against ministries and everything else. He will work against the kingdom marriage if he knows the assignment you both have is extremely important and it's it's for God's kingdom, okay? Um, now, I want to confirm something to someone. It was a love spell, okay? And and this is, this is what I mean when I say it does have an effect if a, one party is not on the same path as you. If you are following God and you are on the right path and your partner isn't, and God has confirmed that's your wife, that's your husband, but y'all ain't on the same path. And God has told you, you got to be patient in your waiting season. You got to wait for that person to come to the revelation. You got to wait for them to, do you get what I'm saying? Like God is working on them. They may be ignorant of the fact that this stuff is real and they may be stuck in their ways. They may still be stuck in the world or still stuck in their ways and they may be blindsided to this, okay? A lot of the reasons why some of these spells work on these individuals is because they're not completely faithful to their walk with God. 
for instance you may be a kingdom wife okay you may be celibate you may it may have been five years six years seven years four years and you may have been celibate once god showed you who your husband was it was like okay it was like okay i'm off the market now god already showed me who my husband is there's no point in me dating there's no point in me sleeping with anybody i'm giving my whole life to god i'm changing my life etc that husband may not be there yet mentally he may not have had the revelation yet that you're his wife because that revelation may not have been revealed to him as yet. Do you get where I'm coming from? And because of that, he may still be messing with that ex. He may still be messing with that person, wherever, whoever he's messing with. He may still have friends with benefits, females in his life. Do you get what I'm saying? Not realizing that because he's still on that path and you're on a whole nother path you're able to see the hidden things that he can't see because he has a veil on because he's still operating in that on that path so now because you're not on that path no more because you're on a whole nother level you are celibate you are work, you're with god etc god is revealing the hidden of the hidden things about your partner and the things going on to you and they may not understand so even if you went to go tell them they may not believe you because they're not there when it comes to the revelations as yet with the wisdom them is yet they're not there yet this is why i always tell you guys in other videos if you're aware of certain things right and your partner is not aware of it you have to let your partner come to the revelation on their own because if you go to them be like oh this person's doing this person like you're gonna look crazy you're gonna look crazy but if you let your partner go come to these revelations on their own and and go to god and get these revelations on their own god will advocate for your for your on your behalf god will let them know that you're aware of this and that you know this okay you're hearing from someone that's been through all of this okay so let me tell you something this confirmation for someone your partner is not fully aware of what's happening and listen when people are not aware and they're still oh my battery and they're still entertaining certain things and certain people these spells can have effect on them it can it can clog their mind it can make them think that they're in love with someone they're not even really and truly in love with these are the counterfeits a lot of them do the love spells they do spells with their under listen there's one one video clip i'm going to show you here of somebody that went to a, a, a witch doctor and had them connect two photos together look at this see all we need to do in this life is be prayerful and know the god you serve keep your hands clean so many people you see as you can see this is a a picture of two young men young man and a young lady that is being tied by baba lao so if you go to these people's place you find out that there are people that their destiny has already been put inside inside bottles for so many years these people struggle 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 to no avail nothing to show they walk and toil like elephants and they still eat like an ant for 20 years 30 years some people have gone to grave without even knowing the cause of their problem and this is also transmittable but if you know the god you serve these things will never never so you're, if you know it it will never work on you what he did was a binding spell, trying to connect two people together and keep them together. Nice so not very sharp. Man. Very sharp. This rope is really good. Almost as sharp as your wit. Ooh. <laughs> it's free, whatever it is. Nice. Looks like uh, some witchcraft. Looks man. like some weird voodoo Ooh, magic, yeah, man. Uh, Ooh, there's something in there. Mm. Oh, it's... Oh, it's coming apart. It's somewhat preserved. Holy. Yeah, it's nice and dry. It's, oh it's like, my God. It's like flowers, is it? Oh, it's a picture. Oh, it's, it's a, a picture. picture. This is somebody. It's, it's a, it's a, uh, I got it on me. They did voodoo. So it looks like somebody voodoo. going through some fake uh, flowers. Look at that. Uh, it looks like somebody like in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he died and like this was a some memorial. It's like some fake flowers from. What you saw, what they found in the ocean there, that was a whole nother ritual, but that was to keep someone sick. They thought it was some type of memorial thing. I already knew right away just by looking at it. I already knew what they were plotting to do. This is why many of us, we may have constant headache, constant sickness. It's because they will take our photos, take things that belong to us, and they'll try to keep us sick. And the fact the person threw it in the water or the ocean, whatever, they meant for that to not be found. Therefore, the person can stay in sickness. But this is why it's so important to have a prayer life to cancel rebuke and denounce every attempt every single day 
It's so important to do that. There's another ritual that they do with a lock to bind someone up. Let me show you this. And there's another ritual that this woman is doing where she's putting her underwear in the food. Okay, when someone's putting underwear in the food, period, blood in the food, anything that has to do with anything and she's about to feed it to that man, that's to make the man become obsessed and whipped with her. Many people do this. And then once these, these men or women fall into these spells because they're not completely on the walk yet with God, they will look at you and see you as not their person because they're so caught up and hypnotized by the very person that is doing these spells. Do you get what I'm saying? Until they come to that revelation. And, to, and the thing about it is these spells don't last, okay? These spells don't last. They don't. So that's why they have to keep renewing these spells because these spells do not last. And I know you're like, why would anybody want to do a love spell in the first place to make someone love them? That's so desperate, etc. Exactly. Exactly. But the thing about it is because the people that are doing this type of stuff, it's not because of love. It's because of narcissism. It's a form of control. It's a form of obsession. And sometimes it's because that man or that woman is going to give you what it is they wanted and they don't want that man with nobody else. They don't want that woman with nobody else. Do you get where I'm coming from? So it's all it's not about love. It's because they are obsessive, narcissistic, and they want a form of control over that person. Also, a huge role, a huge thing that has a, that's at play with this is people do this stuff because somebody has money. You'll see a lot of women who are money hungry. Men do it too, but this is the majority of women do this. You'll see a lot of women who are money hungry who will do this to men who are wealthy okay and the the right wife the kingdom husband i'm sorry the kingdom wife that the man is supposed to actually be with because he is so caught up uh, in, in on that walk and he's so blindsided and he's you know it's easy for the spell to work on him because he has not re received any revelation as yet he is not on the same walk as you but once a man pulls away and starts becoming celibate and gives his life to god these stuff won't work on him okay now i want to explain something else to you okay this is the reason why God says it's our duty as a kingdom wife and a kingdom husband to pray on our partner's behalf every single day. When you pray for yourself, you pray for your partner. You include your partner in the prayer. You rebuke, denounce, and cancel every attempt. The reason why God said it was a spell is because many of you guys, you're wondering, why am I hearing moaning noises at night? Why am I seeing dreams of my partner having sex with other women? Why am I having these types of dreams all of a sudden? Listen, whenever you're close to a kingdom marriage, you're about to reconcile, go into a union, get married, or you're with your person, whenever there's a love spell that's active or a separation spell that's active, you are going to dream about whatever it is that's active. Do you get what I'm saying? For instance, if someone did a ritual on you and tried to and put you on an altar and all of a sudden you know you're in warfare, you know you're fighting off some type of curse or spell now, you know what I mean? You got to pray against it, fast against it, etc. Your dreams are going to be tampered with. They're going to be demonic. Why? Because you're currently under attack because there's a spell that's currently active. Do you get it? So it's the same thing with a love spell. Whenever someone's doing a love spell or a separation spell, okay? And they do this type of stuff with, with the with the, um, burying stuff, putting stuff together in chains and all that type of stuff. You are going to have dreams of your partner doing things with the very person that's doing the spell. Or you're going to hear moaning noise because what it is, is when they do these types of spells, they have to also summon up a spirit to cause chaos in your relationship to cause a separation and a rift between you guys so when they cause that that chaos and that separation and cause that rift between you guys that's a separation spell right there now your partner is gravitated towards the very person who was participating in the love spell either they're paying a person or they're doing it themselves okay so if you're experiencing all this chances are it's because there's an active spell so you have to rebuke cancel and denounce it the reason why i said it was a spell is because it didn't work this is this is a confirmation it was a failed attempt and the reason why it didn't work was because of your prayers your prayers but i want to give you the confirmation that you may hear the effects of the active spell but it's not working 
okay when this type of stuff is done as well it's more likely that your partner will start fighting temptation in the spirit because of this active spell so they may be in the spirit literally fighting temptations fighting you know women coming at them or men coming at them sometimes they wake up sometimes in a dream they you know because this the spell is active they may end up realizing that they're having sex with someone in the dream after it's already happened or in between it and they'll come to that you know realization right then and there but they never realized when they were actually going into doing it because of the hypnosis attached to this spell okay it's very deep i can go into a lot more details about this stuff but i'm gonna save that for a whole nother time but i want to give you this confirmation i want to show you these videos but i want to also show you why it's so important to always cancel rebuke and denounce and pray on your partner's behalf as well okay when people do this stuff it's usually because you're close to being with that person and, and there's people that know they know that you're the husband they know that you're the wife of that person they know because they see it i've been putting out videos about people seeing things before in our lives before it happens and a lot of people can see it they can see your wedding they can see your life together and this is why they do this type of stuff okay a lot of you guys this is why you were hurt from your kingdom husband or your kingdom wife this is why you were hurt because of this manipulation that was going on they were blindsided they were not able to see the revelation because they're not able to see the revelation they fell into these traps because they fell into these traps they looked at you like you were not the person for them they looked at you like you like you know you were the obsessive one they looked at you like you were the crazy one until god gave them the revelation and show them what was going on this stuff definitely happens they do this stuff to cause chaos especially if one per if one person is not aware as the other party they utilize that to their advantage. They're like, oh, the husband's not even aware. He doesn't even think this stuff is real. Okay. And he's going to fall into that trap because of that. Do you get what I'm saying? But when both parties are actually aware and they understand this stuff and they come together, they join together, they pray, rebuke, and cancel it together, and they become powerful, that is what the devil doesn't like. That is what the enemy hates. Okay. So make sure you're always praying for your person, even if you're angry, even if you're mad, even if this stuff is actually going on. Pray for them because they may not be aware of what's happening. Okay. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.